Joe Fernando and I'm from Ramfer Financials. How are you today? I hope you're so far enjoying this Alveo Amplify event. Do you know that if your money isn't earning, inflation will eventually erode its buying power? Which means if your money isn't moving forward, it's also falling back. And this is because of the concept of inflation. Inflation is a term used to describe the steady rise of prices for goods and services that affect all areas in the economy. Over time, inflation can erode the purchasing power of your money. It can also affect your actual investment returns. The solution for this is to invest for inflation. This is knowing how to choose investments that will give you a return greater than the current rate of inflation or of course at the very least keep up with it. Here are five instruments that can help us investors protect our money from rising prices and could make the best inflation hedge. First on the list would be mutual funds. Mutual funds are generally the ideal investment type to beat inflation, especially for us average investors. Aside from your money being actively and professionally managed, there are also certain tax incentives in mutual funds. So the fact that it is also automatically diversified, the propensity for you to earn more is also so much bigger since you are able to position your funds in many different securities. It is for this reason that equity-laced mutual funds generally provide greater long-term returns than the average inflation rate. Having said this, it's also good to note that market risk is also greater for these kinds of products than direct bond placements and money market investments. And so, for the next one, number two is direct stock investments. When you buy stocks of a company, you actually become a shareholder or part owner of that company. In stocks, you can earn in two ways. One is through capital appreciation and the other one is through dividend payouts. Rising prices can mean more profit for companies, which in turn boost their share prices. But of course, there are no guarantees ah, because there are different factors to also consider. However, over the long term, the stock market has historically proven and provided returns that can beat inflation rate. Do you know that passive index investing is the easiest way into stocks? Because it doesn't need the aptitude for stock picking. Others that we can choose from are technology and other growth stocks, which outperform the overall market and make the most solid hedges against inflation. Companies in the consumer goods business and others in the defensive sector that can produce basic necessities can also do well. In general, returns on stocks could often beat inflation rate. And so the third one is real estate. Real estate is both a hard investment and a growth appreciation oriented asset. Over the years, land and property values tend to rise alongside inflation. If you don't have enough capital to start a real estate investment just yet, you can do so through real estate investment trust funds or REIT. REITs are publicly traded portfolios of properties or they are also called managed funds that own or finance income producing real estate across a range of property sectors. REITs are traded in different stock exchanges and they also offer a number of benefits to us investors. One of which of course is beating the average inflation rate. Likewise, if you have a limited budget or is not yet ready to buy actual property, you can still invest in real estate through bank financing. Leveraging is one of several strategies for investing in real estate. It is using borrowed money to buy a property. When leveraging a property, you borrow funds from a lender, usually a bank, to be able to purchase an investment property instead of having to cover the entire purchase price yourself. 
being able to leverage your investment is one of the reasons why real estate investing is just so attractive. And in terms naman po of rentals, real estate works well with inflation. This is because as inflation rises, so do property values and so does the amount a landlord can charge for rent. This results in the landlord earning a higher rental income over time. This helps to keep pace with the rise in inflation. And so, moving on is number four, which is using debt to deal with inflation. Debt may seem like the opposite of investments, but incurring it can also be a good financial move when inflation is very high. In the same way that inflation eats away at the value of your cash, it also eats away at the value of your loan. This benefits individuals that have acquired loans or mortgages in the past before the period of inflation setting in. For example, your 1 peso in 1990 is equivalent to about 2 pesos today. So a 1,000 peso mortgage payment 30 years ago would be worth about 2,000 pesos now. But after all that time, you'd still be paying 1,000 pesos per month. So the value of what you need to pay is reduced by about half. Effectively, you're paying half as much each month to service that debt. If you can refinance, try changing your loan or mortgage to a fixed rate rather than a variable rate. That will leverage inflation to your advantage. And so, the last instrument is alternative investments and commodities. Some other tangible assets such as fine arts, vintage cars, paintings, and other collectibles also tend to work well as an inflation hedge. Again, these are real assets that have intrinsic value to collectors. Although their prices can be hard to predict, the value of these items is expected to appreciate over time, providing returns greater than inflation rate. According to the CEO of the debt relief company, Mr. Celita, commodities tend to have outsized returns during times of high inflation. In particular, Precious metals like gold and silver have long been considered an inflation hedge. As physical assets, both gold and silver have intrinsic worth. Unlike the dollar, peso, or other currencies, other inflation hedges include energy commodities like oil and gas and many others. In the end, proper investment planning, specifically investing for inflation, is essential for protecting your wealth. We all know that inflation can erode your savings, so while keeping some cash handy is great for financial security, it's best not to keep too much as well. If you do so, you may find that it doesn't buy as much as it used to before. Instead, plan for inflation by making your money earn. There are so many ways to do this, so it's best to talk to a financial advisor who can help guide you through this process. Choose and discuss your preferred investment strategy that's likely to give you a return and at the very least, keep up with inflation rate. Look for assets that appreciate over time, that has a fundamental value of their own, or that pay interest at a fluctuating rate. By keeping up with inflation, you can maintain the value of your money and maybe even grow it some more. So, keeping inflation-hedged investments in your portfolio can help your funds thrive when inflation hits. And so with that, I hope you've learned something new today in the five investments that could help hedge against inflation. If you think you have friends or relatives who might be in need of these contents, I hope you can share this video with them. And for those who haven't yet, please do subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Ram for Financials, and tap the bell button for our future video uploads. This has been June Fernando saying thank you so much for watching, for all the support, and stay safe. Thank you.